Hello, this is your nurse Edwin again. Good day everyone. Today's blog, I will be sharing with you a personal experience as a male nurse. And this is entitled, The Benefits of Being a Male Nurse and Why I Love It. Alright, here you go. Being a male nurse doesn't come without its stigma, especially in the Philippines. But I am here to say proudly that there are more benefits to being a male nurse than drawbacks. This is a look into my job and my life. So please come join me and listen to my personal journey as I share with you my experience being a male nurse. So what's a day in the life of a male nurse? This is a personal experience happened when I was a new nurse here in America. And I was assigned in a medical surgical floor. This is exactly my first, my very, very first nursing experience here in America. Here you go. It was six p.m. on the Thursday evening and the alarm on my phone wakes me up from a deep sleep. I completed my wake-up ritual, put the coffee on, take a shower, and have some breakfast, and I left. And I arrived to the hospital and report to my third night shift to end this week it's already like three over three night shifts so after receiving report i began to think about which patient i must attend to first so as a nurse with five patients i'm more than likely to be having my hands full so i proceed to enter my patient's room and begin my initial survey the room looks clean patient is not in distress patient is well groomed and sitting up in the bed with family at bedside eating their dinner with a quick knock on the door i slowly push the door open and look in the patient hurries to sit up and says to the family let's clean up the doctor wants to come in then I replied, no ma'am, my name is Edwin and I'll be your nurse tonight. How have you been feeling since your surgery? The patient replied, oh, I thought you're going to be my new doctor. I've seen so many doctors since I have been in the hospital. So I continue my nursing assessment gather the vital signs and then quickly step out of the room to chart now on to patient number two so i grab my sheet used to take notes during report to prepare myself with this patient's history so again with a quick knock on the door i present myself the patient is laying in bed, talking on the phone as I enter. I can, I can hear patients saying, oh dear, sorry, I have to hang up the phone. The doctor is here and he has to talk to me. I'll call you right back. So he looked at me and said, so doctor, will I be having my surgery tonight? But I replied and say, hey, ma'am, I'm sorry, but my name is Edwin and I'll be your nurse for tonight. So the remainder of the shift continued to be smooth, which is very, very rare, I would say. So nightly medications were already given. Blood glucose was checked and our nursing assessment checked and were completed in a timely fashion then suddenly 
I can hear a beep on the loud unit loudspeaker and say, Edwin, please come to the phone. Phone call from ER line one. So I just finished actually my charting and start my walk. So I started my walk over to the nursing station and pick up the phone and say, this is Edwin, who am I speaking with? So with just one phone call, I have been given a six patients that have to be admitted to my floor. Transporters brought the patient up and I was able to complete the admission process. At this time, I was able to check to see if new no orders have been added to my patient. So as I look onto the computer, it reads one new order from my newly admitted patient that says, insert Foley catheter. So I think to myself simply enough, or simple enough, I'll get my supplies and I'll be back to charting in no time. So the Foley catheter was inserted with no issues or complaints from my patient. But they do have one question at this time. And the question is, why would a male ever go into this profession? To be honest, I was actually shocked initially as to why they couldn't understand as a male my reasoning for becoming a nurse. So I thought the reasons why someone would get into this field of medicine were as plain as they. So at this point, I was intrigued to see what their idea of a man in nursing meant to them. So the patient continued to ask, well, not to be rude, but isn't nursing a woman's profession? Maybe I'm just old fashioned, but usually we see women doing this job. That very question remains brushing my head up to this day. So this time allow me to tell you why I love this profession. Let me tell you the benefits of being a male nurse. I reach out to some friends of mine who are males in nursing to ask what their benefits of male nurses, what are what their ben- beliefs of male nurses are rather. So yes, it turns out being a male nurse comes in many, many benefits. A male nurse friend of mine who works in ICU said, male nurses spark conversation and build relationships. He continued to say, being in the 10% of the male nursing population always sparks interest in patients family at bedside, nurses and physicians. So this acts as an initiator to open up or to open lines of communication and again promote an environment where communication is encouraged. Thanks Blake for your for that statement. Blake now is a nurse anesthetist earning five digits a month. So I 100% agree with Blake's statement. I have had many opportunities to educate patients on my specific reasons for becoming a nurse and with allowing my patient to know small details of myself. This allows the patient to feel comfortable and become more trusting of me to provide their care. We all know that our shifts do not always allow for this type of conversation to occur 
with every patient at every shift. However, when an opportunity opens, and I know it will help the patient to become more comfortable, then go for it. Also, I can be a calming factor to my patients when I teach them regarding their care, what to expect for surgery, and who to follow up with once they are released to go home. I feel that the benefits of being a male nurse are the same benefits of being a nurse, period. Being a male nurse to me would entail what being a nurse would mean to any nurse, male or female. This profession offers the ability to influence a patient's hospital stay, surgery experience, and overall healing experience. Nursing has teamwork deeply embedded into its core. We work together without realizing it. I'll give you an example. A nurse who was in a contact precaution room and ran out of 10 ml IV flushes. So the nurse can shout out, can shout out, hey, can someone grab me a flush? And before you know it, three nurses are there to help you or while you're working in the patient's room and a colleague walks by, then they'll probably almost certainly gonna ask you, are you okay in there? Do you need anything? So these simple acts of teamwork and camaraderie are what makes me most proud of to be in this profession. This nursing career slowly turns into your second family. The people on your unit slowly become your friends and most trusted advisors. So also, what an opportunity nursing provides to be able to give back to the community. Now, thinking back to my patient's question, why would a male go into nursing? You know, I say proudly and confidently to that patient why I wouldn't want to go into nursing. Again, thank you and have a good day.